Good morning, Dos Pueblos students. Today we got some information on testing from Mr. Woodard. And just because we got some substantial rainfall this weekend doesn't mean the drought's over. Here's some informational water videos made by DP News students on how you can conserve. Hi, DP. It's Mr. Woodard here. And I wanted to take a couple minutes to go over state testing for this year. As some of you know, there's been some changes and we're kind of in a flux year cycle. So I wanted to make sure everybody knows what's going to be expected. So let's start with March 1st. Uh, in March, on April, 8, sorry, March 18th and 19th, all of our 10th graders will be taking the California High School Ex exam for the first time, either in the gym or the cafeteria. And on those days, also all of our freshmen will be participating in the physical fitness test. More information will be coming in your PE classes or with your athletic coaches. Now in April is where a lot of changes take place. As you know, we're transitioning away from the old star system into what is gonna be called the smarter balance system. So for this year, our 11th graders and our 9th graders have been asked to participate in a statewide field test of the new system. You'll be taking parts of the test, and this test is taken on the computer or the iPad with a keyboard. Um, so juniors between April 7th and 11th will be taking the field test in their English classes. And between April uh, 11th and 14th, the freshmen will, will be taking them in their English classes as well. So those are the field tests that are going to be coming up. As far as STAR, we're not gonna have a schedule of two weeks this year where everything's a lot different. Instead, this year, here's what has to happen for STAR. All 11th graders will take the STAR in English on April 15th. Uh, we'll be probably doing it in the gym, in the cafeteria, like we do for Cassie testing. The next day, all juniors who are in Algebra 2 or above will be taking the Math STAR. And the reason why you're taking those two tests is because those are tests that we use to determine your college readiness through the EAP. All 10th graders will be taking only the life science test on April 15th. That's the only test you have to take this year is the life science test. And you'll be doing that in your science class, or if you don't have science this year, you'll be taking that uh, in the cafeteria. So as you know, all 12th graders don't have to take any tests because you're 12th graders, so unless you're taking AP or IB tests, you will not be participating in state testing this year. So that's a quick overview of what's happening. There'll be more information on our website. I'll send something home via EDU for your parents. Uh, if you have any questions, you can let me know, but I wanted to just give you a heads up about these things that are coming up uh, so that you are better prepared for what's to come. Thank you. Good afternoon. I believe you are having some trouble with water conservation. Who are you? Double OH2O, Water Secret Service. Well, what can I do to save water? Well, first you could moderate your water pressure. That would increase efficiency. Second, make sure to water your lawn less frequently during cold weather. And lastly, be sure to visit www.waterwisesb.org for more tips and information. Hey there, my name's not important, but you know what is important? Saving water. Good old rain. It's been a while, hasn't it? Well, it's gonna take you outside to show you how to test your irrigation system three to four times a year manually to reduce leaks, runoffs, and waste. This all seems redundant now, huh? Wrong. Even though our good old friend Rain over here decided to pay us a visit, this still doesn't defeat the fact that California is facing a huge drought right now. Water is a precious thing. Be smart. Don't waste it. in your hands to change our future. For further information on how to conserve water, please visit waterwisesb.org.